Okay, the last curve shot we're going to look at is the Massé shot. Now that's probably what you've heard uh, other curve shots termed as Massé shots. I like to make a, a difference between a, an actual curve shot like those that we've already explored and what is really a full Massé. Massé is just a French word. As I said earlier, this, is a, this game was derived by the French years and years ago, but the Massé shot now is one where we're using a radical curve. We're going to take a full half circle around a ball. And I got to tell you that this is not a good shot for pool. It, it would be a very, very rare occasion that you would have to use it. But the only reason that I would like to demonstrate it, or at least how it's supposed to be made, is just to show you, uh, again, uh, the difference between the level Q rule what we have to do to make this particular shot and some of the extreme action you can get on a cue ball if you know how to stroke it properly. So with our Massé shot here, what we want to do is we would like to be able to curve this ball or Massé this cue ball completely around that ball right there and pocket the one ball. So to do that, we have to have an elevation on the cue that's pretty much vertical and know exactly where to hit the cue ball and exactly what speed to stroke it at in order to get it to do that. Let's see what we can do with it. Who? I'd say that's close enough. As you can see, I missed the shot, which uh, might give you an indication as to just how difficult they are to make. Uh, but once again, I, I do want to reiterate that this is not a shot that you really need to try to practice a whole lot because it's not a dependable shot when you're using it in competition. It was just really here for uh, demonstration purposes to show you what can be done with a cue ball. But this shot, you really, you need to leave that up to the trick shot artists that you see on TV.